All right, so I had a customer donate a big box of stuff. And is there anything we're saving in this box? I don't know. Let's take a look and see what's in here. AUVIO, AVIO. Uh, looks like a, a 900 megahertz stereo analog wireless headphones. Well, that's obviously the transmitter. Has a little uh, wall wart, 12 volts, 250 milliamps, DC output. We'll set that aside. A US cellular ZTE Unite. Oh, so it's a little uh, hot spot, it looks like. Okay. On, off, it doesn't do anything. Is there anything else? Maybe an adapter I can save? Yes. There is an AC adapter. I always save these things. 5 volts, 1.5 amps. So we'll definitely save that. Uh, this thing, uh, probably not much use. We'll recycle that. Some stuff in a Ziploc bag. Let's see what's in here. Oh, good. Another Ziploc bag. Uh, some suction cup mounts. And magnetic. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, maybe we can use those for something. The second one, Charge Works is the name on this thing. So it looks like you adhere this to the back of your phone, possibly, and it sticks. Those might come in handy for something, who knows. Bad Verizon Tablet, dead. It's an Asus. I don't think that's going to be any good. It does have a USB-C connector on it, however. Looks quite chowdered up. Eh, maybe the screen out of it? Who knows? Maybe it's got a bad battery, I don't know. But if it has to be on Verizon, and I don't want to have to pay a subscription fee, so it's not really going to be much use. Uh, no micro SD card, but it does have a SIM card in it. Verizon SIM card, not much use. A Philips compact disc to cassette adapter. Eh, might be able to use that for something, I don't know. The reels turn. Has a little pinch roller down in there that turns so it can actually move the reels as necessary. Yeah, I might save that for testing audio equipment one day. Okay, what is all this? Oh my goodness. A TomTom Tom car charger, 5 volts at 2 amps. Well, that might come in handy for something. Uh, some kind of very specialized connector. I don't know if it's for an iPhone or what. But they've wrapped it up in wire loom. Taped it with green tape and black tape in the middle. So it's got a special uh, 330 second stereo plug with a shield. A mini USB and a stereo audio headset adapter. Well, maybe I can steal that cable out of there. That's good for something someday. Oh, here's the case the TomTom -tom is in. Is there actually a TomTom -tom in it? There is. I'm not much of a fan of TomTom, -tom, although it does have a SD card in it. Eight gigabyte SD card. I have a TomTom. -tom. It's really not that good. I prefer Garmin myself does have a nice case. Oh, and an extra 2 gig SD card, like I'll ever use that. Uh, the dashboard mount or charger USB, maybe to update it, who knows. Definitely says TomTom -tom on it. Some kind of a clamp brought it pro clip mount. But wait, there's more. 
a mini USB cable. We'll definitely save that. A Tom Tom remote. Where would you use that at? Okay. I don't even know. And all the Tom Tom new maps for one year. Well, that's probably 10 years ago. Tom Tom Go Quick Start Guide. I think I have a Tom Tom Go. Uh, the mount for it. It's definitely not magnetic. Eh. Probably toss that out. There's a tablet case. Probably for that Verizon tablet. Is the camera in the same place? Yes, it is. So we have a Verizon, bad Verizon tablet and a case for it. Okay, well that doesn't do us much good. A lot of Ziploc bags. Uh, not even sure. Don't, don't even know. If somebody knows, help me out. Maybe these are grommets for a desk, it looks like, of some type. Probably just toss those out. Some other kind of a suction cup mount. Uh, it looks like a little uh, car dash camera. It's a micro, uh, mini USB and it has an SD card. Oh, 32 gig. Score on that. I can't even tell what kind it is. Sharper image. Well, you know, their stuff's good. Chinese made junk. Well, we might try it and see if it works. Who knows? And a couple of dashboard suction cup mounts. Well, those might come in handy for some GPS's along the way. We'll save that. And a sling adapter for Dish Network. I have Dish Network, but I never had sling. I don't even think it's necessary at this point. And what's this? A Netgear router. Well, we definitely got another wall wart we can use. 12 volts at one amp. And it's a Netgear N600 Wi-Fi range extender. Well, that might come in handy. I'm not quite sure. It definitely has some LAN ports on it. And we'll plug that in there and we'll set it aside as usual. Get rid of that bag. That one's empty. And what is this? Logitech. It doesn't have a screen, but it has a flip-up antenna, maybe? I'm not even sure. Logitech VU0023. 5 volts, 500 milliamps. I don't know. It looks like the bottom opens up on it somehow. Oh, it is a camera. Look at that. It's an HD 720p camera. What? What is... Oh, so this is so you can clip it on the top of your TV, maybe? Oh, and it swivels. Okay, well, if anybody wants HD 720p, there it is. Another Logitech rechargeable touchpad. Yeah, useless. Some kind of a strap to hold something, not even sure. Um, another proprietary car charger cord. Palm Pilot, oh yeah, those were the days. 5.5 volts, plus or minus 5% at one amp. What is this? 
Look at that, a VR headset. Samsung. Eh, I don't even think so. And a Samsung VR gear, health safety warranty guide, and a getting started guide. Well, I'm not going to use VR, so whatever. And a case for some kind of a Samsung phone, not even sure. Oh, okay. Definitely don't have that. Roadster. And another Roadster, case for something. Now oh, check this out, Panasonic Portable CD Player. Yeah, it's got some contamination on there. Hinge doesn't feel too good. Oh yeah, it's all stoved up. Any batteries? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's the Rotten Top Duracell. Put that in the recycle bin shortly. Uh, looks like some Chinese cases for a tablet. Not even sure what they were for. Not going to use those. What's it say? Moco Rai cover case for Tab S2 8.0 carbon fiber black. Well, it looks like carbon fiber, but I can guarantee you it's not carbon fiber. We're almost done. Are these the headphones that go with the Avio? They are. Well, they're kind of used up. Pads are kind of worn, but yeah, look at that tape holding them together. <laughs> That's the sign of quality right there. Car with small pocket. Okay. Okay. No, oh, I have one of these. It's a Syntec Harbor Freight infrared thermometer. It probably just needs a battery. I can even get it out. It's a CR2032. Well, we'll investigate that. Might save that. Who knows? Samsung Gear Quick Reference Manual. Empty bag. Gear Live Charger. And a second one. Does it have a, like a, a small lithium ion battery? Not even sure. Oh, the 90s are back. Check this out. Sony Sport. Auto Reverse. These were high dollar items back in the day. These were probably 80 to to $100 when these things were new. Can you even put batteries in it? It's got these belt clips. I'm sure the belts are shot in it. Oh, batteries go in here. No, oh, no batteries. That's good. They're not corroded. Well, we'll cram a couple of batteries in there one day. See if it works. Ooh, what's that goo on here? Look at that Dolby and normal or chrome tape. Holy crap. Auto reverse head. Don't know if you can see that down in there or not. But a four track head. Huh. Well, that's retro. Definitely, I think we'll hang on to that with the belt clip and everything. Isn't that awesome? Look at the size of that thing. Holy crap. And we're getting near the bottom. What is this? A cord. Another mini USB cord. How many can you have? Obviously, never too many. And some earbuds, Nokia. Uh, they probably had foam on them at one time, but they have disintegrated. Oh my god, look at the size of that dongle. It is absolutely huge, and it only has one button on it. Oh my goodness. 
And we're getting down to the twos and fuse. Shift it three. Shift three. Uh, don't even know. <laughs> what the heck is it? If you know, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, a backup camera? How do you even connect it? It's, ju it's just got power leads. Huh. Oh my god, these Chinese companies, they come up with the weirdest shit. What is, what the hell is this? 2.4 gigahertz wireless devices such as cell phones, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi systems may cause momentary interference. Same thing on both sides. Is this a charging cord of some type? I have no clue. Uh, once again, 2.4 gigahertz devices may cause interference. And I think we're almost to the bottom. Some mounting hardware for the shift, maybe? This video image is transmitted wirelessly from the camera to the monitor wires. The wires are for 12 volt power supply only. Oh, look at that. Oh, so it must be a backup camera of some type. Yeah, look at that. LCD monitor, monitor support, rear view camera, 12 volt power cord, monitor wiring cable, and cable ties. Quick splice connectors, hook and loop, because they couldn't use the term Velcro. Wedge shims, grommet, license plate, nuts and bolts, license plate, and sheet metal screws, because I'm just going to go screw this into my car. So yeah, it's a primitive wireless backup camera. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use that. Okay. Well, from what I can see, probably 80% of this is just going to go in the recycle bin. Such sadness, it's mostly Chinese made junk. Uh, we, we missed this one, what is this one? Case logic, maybe a small camera case. Another camera case with a nice little belt clip. Travel clock with phone organizer. Yeah, because my phone can't organize. Yeah, definitely. Seiko instruments. Oh, there it is. The travel clock. Look at that. Travel alarm with phone organizer. Uh, yeah, back before you could save contacts. iTrack M6. Okay, not even sure. Sigma Digital coded. So I have two of those. No one's interested. I have two of those. Oh, one says Speedo on it. Oh, look at that. They're different, but they're very much the same. One's probably a copycat of the other one. Oh, there's the watch that goes with it. Isn't that something? The early fitness watch. It's a Speedo. And a clip. I don't know if it's for the Sony Walkman or something else. Anyhow, it's going away. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed me going through this box of donated stuff that is probably pretty freaking useless. I certainly want to give a sincere thanks to those who have supported my channel via a donation by PayPal or having me repair their unit. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It really helps my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at NorCal715. Leave a question, a comment, or a concern down below. I try to read all the comments and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. 
Remember, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill, out of the e-waste facility, and out of the recycle bin. Well, most of this going in the recycle bin. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it, even though it's just a box of junk. Everybody, have a great day. Thanks once again so much for watching. Bye-bye.